A lot of you um, are doing custom foam interiors. So um, some of you might be just doing a plain square, you know, or rectangular box with four pieces of foam on the inside and that's it. But a lot of you are doing custom foam interiors for things like video cameras, guitars, you know, whatever it is that you might be housing in the case. So this video clip is basically going to take you through doing custom cutout, um, how to prepare and, and do the custom cutout for an item, and then how to layer foam where you have items that are uneven in their depth so that they lay nice and flat. So we're going to go through a bunch of those uh, uh, different techniques and steps, and then you can apply them to whatever it is that you're putting inside your case. Let's take a look. Today we're going to be discussing custom foam cutouts for the interior of your case. These items that we're using today will represent the items that would be going inside a case. First will be this pneumatic rivet gun. The other will be this manual hand riveter. Our tools for today will be a Sharpie magic marker and a sharp foam cutting knife. Placement of the items within the foam will want to be in such a position that they are not too close to the surrounding edges. My recommended preference is to leave yourself at least one inch of foam around any edge of items placed within the case. This item's position does not leave enough room around the edges. Positioning it like this is much better. Next, we're going to want to take our Sharpie and trace around making an outline of the items that we want to place into our foam. Keep the point of the Sharpie as close to the edge of the item as you trace around it. Take your time and go slow to make a nice, neat, accurate outline of the item. Now you have a perfect outline of your item to use as a template when cutting with your knife. Now let's follow the same procedure for the manual hand riveter, tracing around its entire shape. Now you have a perfect outline of both the manual hand riveter and the pneumatic rivet gun. Now it's time to take your foam cutting knife and cut around the traced template that you made with the Sharpie. Trace around the lines of the Sharpie with the knife, cutting into the foam. It's very important that this knife is extremely sharp and free of any burrs or damage to the blade. As you are cutting, be sure that you are penetrating all the way through the foam. This will make things much easier when you go to remove the cutout section. No matter how precise you are while you are cutting, there will always be little sections that you will have to go back and recut as you are removing the foam section. Once you have successfully cut around the entire perimeter of the traced outline, you may now remove the foam section. Notice how clean and perfect your cutout can be, even without the use of fancy machinery from a factory. Now let's see what our pneumatic rivet gun looks like when placed into the cutout. An accurate, snug fit, perfectly cradling the gun within the foam for ultimate protection. Now we'll do the same thing by making the cutout for the section for the manual hand riveter. Now you have two perfect cutouts. And notice how nicely the manual hand riveter fits. Now you may prefer that your item sits flush with the top of the foam, 
there's no way to slice that section out of there, so we're going to make use of the portion that you actually cut out of the case to use underneath the item to raise it up so that it stays flush with the foam inside the case. The thickness of your item will determine how much of the foam cutout you'll want to remove. In this case, we're just going to cut it in half, slicing it right down the middle, as that thickness will be plenty for bringing our manual hand riveter up level within the case. Now you're going to tuck this piece back down into the hole where you made the cutout. But don't forget, there will be foam underneath, which will be in the bottom or the base of your case, to cradle the other items that do not have another insert placed into their hole. Now tuck this piece down into the cutout that you made, and this will allow you to raise the manual hand riveter up flush with the foam inside the case. Now we will discuss layering. This is actually a two inch thick piece of foam. You can actually accomplish the same thing by using two one inch thick pieces of foam. By stacking and gluing them together, you actually create two inches of thickness. This way you don't have to buy two different thicknesses of foam. You can still make your item cut out and use the remainder of the one inch thick foam within the rest of the case, saving yourself money from buying two different foams. Let's say you have two items that are quite a bit different in depth going into the same case. Maybe you'll even want those items to sit side by side. One item being only this high, and the other item being about this high. When you close the lid, you still need to have each item with a snug fit inside the case. What you'll actually do is you will cut pieces of the same size to stack them up in height to make up for the difference in the thickness or the height of the items that'll be inside the same case. You will then stack and glue together all of the individual pieces in whatever height or shape configuration is needed to house whatever items that you need inside the case. And that's all there is to it.